Hey there, so we are three days away from the uh, Doctor Who Christmas special and saying goodbye to Matt Smith, the uh, 13th Doctor in the uh, Doctor Who uh, saga. So uh, we have listing them, William Hartnell, Patrick Troughton, John Pertwee, Tom Baker, Peter Davison, Colin Baker, Sylvester McCoy, Paul McGann, John Hurt, Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant, David Tennant number two, and uh, Matt Smith, the Dr. Half. Now, Hello. we are here to talk about, just to do a quick little video on our uh, favorite doctors, favorite companions, and I'm going to let my uh, daughter Cass start out with uh, talking about her favorite doctor and who her favorite companion. Sorry. My favorite, I'm going to start with the companion. My favorite companion was Rose because she was my first companion and I always thought she was so pretty when I was little and I was like, I want to have that hair and that face and that, don't want to be that. So she was my favorite companion. And who was your favorite doctor? My favorite doctor was David Tennant. So, even over Matt Smith? Yeah, I, like Matt Smith was, Matt Smith was like a, like, he was my second favorite. He was very, very close to number one. But my favorite one was David Tennant because I always loved his hair. <laughs> this thing. Okay, my better half. Your, who's your favorite doctor? She's not coming on screen, but who's your favorite doctor? Say. Mm-hmm. Who's your favorite doctor? Uh, Matt Smith. Matt Smith is her favorite doctor. And your favorite companion? No, I don't really have a favorite companion. Gotta have a favorite companion. Come on, give one up. I'd say Sarah Jane. Sarah Jane Smith. Okay. So, there are so many great doctors out there, and it's hard for me to pick a favorite. Uh, I love them all for something different. There's not a doctor that I don't like. I really appreciate the stuff that Colin and Sylvester have done, especially in their audio work. If you don't listen to the Big Finish audios and you're a Doctor Who fan, you're missing out on a lot of really cool Doctor Who and some duck face in the background. Uh, but for me, I guess because of my age and because of the Doctors that I grew up with, my favorite has to be Tom Baker. Tom Baker is the definitive Doctor for my era, and he brought he brought it back. And a time of Doctor Who may not have been the most popular thing in the world, he made Doctor Who a popular, uh, a popular show again. Just like David Tennant would do in this generation. Uh, and all these weird uh, faces that she's doing right there in, <laughs> in the background. As for my favorite companion, uh, for like just companion-wise, it would definitely be Sarah Jane Smith. But because of uh, there's a cuteness factor that has it going to companions. <laughs> and because of that, wow. it's, it's Perry because she wore the... Uh, I was a teenager, and she wore the most bikinis. Wow. She wore the most bikinis and the lowest cut shirts. Wow! <laughs> and she was the only one that died and came back to life as a, a queen to uh, Brian Bless. Uh, yeah. Maybe the death thing wasn't so bad when you think about who she ended up marrying. But, you know, either way. Uh, her, as an actress, she wanted her character to be the same death. See how goofy she looks here? See, when she does, she had her own channel, which is on uh, Hades right now, uh, until she gets ready to make some more videos. And then she'll I've be doing. It's been so busy. It's been school, yeah. It's been busy. Maybe this summer we have to start doing more videos again. Yeah. Do some stuff. We'll make some videos together. And when we're here, we make videos together anyway. So I'm, uh, that's our favorite doctors. Who are your favorite doctors? Who's your favorite companion? Uh, your favorite storyline? For me, my favorite storyline is probably Genesis of the Daleks. Uh, it's a great Tom Baker story. It really uh, gives the weight of uh, the doctor's decisions that he has to make. Your favorites? What are you going to say? Story. Just what? Do you have a favorite story? Like, I won't, I won't Give me a favorite villain. What was a favorite villain? Leaping Angels. And my favorite, my favorite Leaping Angels one was in like, was in like, um, it was when, when it was Matt Smith and, and, and Amy because, because like, she, she did the thing and it was like in her face and she was all like, in her, was, eye. In her eye, yeah, it was in her eyes, and then, like the part where she had the hand, her hand on the really thing, and he started talking to her, and he had like her completely focused, and then he poked her hand, and she was like, "Ow!" and he was like, "Death." <laughs> uh, 
That was cool. Uh, yeah, my favorite is the Does she have a favorite storyline, honey? Mm -hmm. River Song storyline. She likes River Song's storyline. The whole, uh, from her coming into it to her become the doctor's wife and who, who River Song was. Anyway, that was a... Uh, we love Doctor Who. We're eagerly awaiting the, uh, the big uh, special episode. You, we, and we're very excited to see Capaldi become <laughs> the doctor. Capaldi will be a great doctor. She's not so sure. She wants a cute doctor. No, I don't. She do. You want to kill? No, I want my Smith back. That's well. You I can't be doctor. You want a girl doctor? Yeah, I want a girl doctor. I have this coat, and I look just like a female doctor. So like maybe in my next video. Doctor. In my next video, you can wear your coat. Yay. That sounds good. Okay. But, look for her wearing her doctorish coat, uh, a Romana-ish coat. No, in the next no, video. Doctor, you said it. Doctor. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, doctor Who, as a girl, do you think that Doctor Who should be a girl? Can be. It can be. It doesn't like. It's not like it should be, but it can exactly. be. And it, and it, it can be. And it be. And it, it, it has it to be at not, some point. It may not. It would make be. it so much better if it were at some point. Yes, the Doctor Who could be a duck, too. But I'm not sure if I want to watch this series. The doctor Who is a duck. Are you comparing women to ducks now? No, I'm not comparing women to ducks. Really? No. Really? <laughs> no. Okay, that is okay, not so a duck woman. Not, no, that is not a duck woman comparison. That is not what I meant. Uh, it could be a block of wood, or it could be. And no, I'm not comparing. Whoa! Uh, ducks to blocks of wood. <laughs> no. Okay, well, somebody's sleeping outside in the car. They're not sleeping outside in the car. Yeah, he is. <laughs> no. Okay, before I put my foot in it even more, the Doctor, I don't know, I don't know, uh, if the right storyline is there for the Doctor who would be a woman, I don't mind. It but has it has to be there. It can't be a gimmick. It can't be a gimmick. You, not, you can't just make the Doctor a woman just to be politically correct. It has to be for a reason. It's been established well, now he, that he can he, be a woman. It was never established before. Not actually really established that he could be a woman. This is a, f but it has been established kind of through potions that he may choose to be a woman. But uh, no, it, it can happen. Uh, I'm not sure if there's an actress out there yet that could do the role. That's right now me. He's sleeping in the porch, just saying. Just, I'm get, I'm closer to getting I, into the house. I right could now. definitely be the actor. For you, the could the you could do that. You could, you could do that. But um, so that I can sleep in the house. Not yet. <laughs> I'll say that. Yes, in the future, the doctor could be a woman. Yeah, and should be at some point. There's yeah. no reason why. No, there's no reason why that can't be a woman. Exactly. Uh, and actually, that could work, actually, because I could see some sequences with the female doctor and maybe a Perry like companion. I could, yeah, I, I could get into that. Yes, the doctor could definitely that? be a woman. So, uh, really? So... I said, look, I said the doctor can and should be a woman in the future because that's... He's only saying that because <laughs> he wants to sleep inside. <laughs> and he only thinks it could be for all the wrong reasons. No. So little girls, you know, little girls kind of, you know, have like a, role, a doctor role model to look up to. Which they should anyway because there's many strong companions in Doctor Who and strong female time models yeah, like Romana. Yeah, doctor. Romana is like smarter than the doctor. Mm. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. This video went on longer than I expected, and uh, now I think I'm sleeping in the house. So uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think so. I'll work on it. I'll let you know in my next video if I'm. If you see me doing this video like shivering in the car, then you know then I'm not. But uh, otherwise, I am. Thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to watch the the uh, special Doctor Who episode coming on on the 25th, where we finally see uh, Transylors and the fall of uh, Matt Smith and the rise of another doctor. But remember, this is the last regeneration, so we're not exactly sure how he's going to regenerate or what's going to happen. Is this going to be a rebirth of the, of the doctor? Or are we going to see the whole uh, limited time regenerations totally go out? And will we see many more goofy faces from her in the next video? You'll find out soon with her with her coat, actually. Yeah. She, she wants to go goofy face with her coat on. Thanks for watching, and for me right now, it is time to uh, suck up. Just a little bit. But mostly it's time for tea.